Jata here for News Plus Views. Today we are at the White of Foods happening at Geo World Center Bandra in Mumbai. And we have with us Mr. Prashant Nagre, Managing Director of FBL. And he will be telling us about what exactly FBL is doing and how it is beneficial for the general public. Uh, over to Mr. Prashant Nagre, sir, MD of Thank FBL. You so much. Thank you so much, Sujata. I think yeah. it is a pleasure. Fermenta has been around for the last seven decades and the, one of the flagship products that we have is vitamin D3, polycalciferol. So vitamin D3 has got multiple applications across uh, the health spectrum. It has got a established role in bone and health as well as all chronic disease prevention is linked to the deficiency of uh, vitamin D3. And we have uh, been at the forefront of providing vitamin D3 uh, to the large population within India and exports. We have about 80% exports, 20% is in India. We are selling this product across different segments, that is pure pharmaceuticals, which is under prescription, dietary and nutritional supplements and food. That's why we are at Vita Foods. And also in animal feed, which is a very important segment for the health of animals, in addition to veterinary, as well as this product also finds application in rodent design. Now the key point now for us is this product was always produced from an animal origin source for the last six decades. We have been able to innovate and bring this out of phytosterol chemistry, which starts with soya bean. And this product, which is called as Vita D Green, which is a green, vegan, vegetarian option, sustainable, scalable and affordable, has been now uh, introduced uh, by our R&D uh, through validation trials and everything. And we have applied to the government of India for necessary licenses for non-specified food product category. And we are just awaiting that. So we will bring a very, very credible alternative probably India's own and the most purest uh, green format from plant origin to the large food and nutraceutical uh, field where they need a green dot. So I think uh, we hope that we will play a major role in changing the demographics, uh, demographic deficiency of about 80-90% Indians being deficient because they are also at the same time vegetarian by offering this product as soon as it gets approved by the government of India. So thank so you for this time and uh, all the best to your channel. Yeah, so what I wanted to know about like uh, when we say plant-based, we know about Herbalife. So uh, we don't know about FB3. So how do you like popularize it? Will you be having a brand ambassador or something? Uh, you will be advertising it or somewhere? Yeah, so we believe in that quality ingredients have to be branded mm -hmm. because of which you will be able to establish a hallmark and a watermark on the brand itself. Mm -hmm. So we have termed our vitamin D3 as Vita D Green. Mm -hmm. And we as an organization have taken at Vita Foods a very, very important position in promoting the brand itself and kind of making it familiar to people. And as soon as we get all the approvals, we will also go completely out of our way to make sure that all brands, uh, we spend time, energy and efforts to make Vita D Green popular to the general population so that they get confidence that they are getting the best uh, green D3 from fermenter. Thank you so much, sir. Thank you. <laughs>